See, man. Yes, Everybody sir, attacks it. Being a man and them man, the who them man, they come out of the music now and resign. Tap on the nice man, the king is still here. Shut up. <laughs> What up peeps, welcome to another episode of Next Friday. Now this week, our special guest, none other than King of the Dancer, Moses Davis, aka Beanie Man, Zaga. Bless up, bless him. Yes, sir. So Moses, we kick off things right away with the big bad new album. Yeah, Chet. Sima. Yeah, Chet. Talk to him, oh, 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 how the vibe out the road? No, the vibe out the road nice enough, because people actually are set. The album really wicked and the album yeah. really nice and you know it's like the emergency we are going out there so now the album is an emergency. I wonder if the album <laughs> not, me I tell you about the album is an emergency where people need it. Yeah man, right I'm up run, go get it. That people need new, good music. Yeah. See? So every time I'm gonna talk about this and talk about that, music need it. You yeah. see me? So it's all about that. The album it's all about doing a, 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 a great body of work. So people can get and realize that dance hall is still here. Yeah. And we're not gonna know it. You see me? Definitely. So yeah. We love it. And we love all the people them love it. And we love all the people them are full jive. And we love all the people them are listen to it. And right now we just want to do some more work to make the world know say we are here, Jay. Yeah. See? All we need is Jamaican to support Jamaican music. And you support the music. It's very serious. Because the reason why people talk about Afrobeat and all of these things is because Africans support their music. See, if we don't support our music, where are we going to be? Yeah. I'm going to tell the same as a hip hop fan, I'm going to tell the same as a R&B fan, I'm going to tell the same as a fan of that, and I'm going to tell the same as a Jamaican. Jed, support the music, Jed. Yeah, man. Alright, so six years ago was the last body of work where you put out. Yeah. Let's bring us a, a little bit up to date now in terms of from that time until now, the making of Simo, you know, what transpired All right. throughout those six yep. years. Uh, Unstoppable It's a great album, but the, 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 the promotion never ripened on it. It was a disappointment to I still. But we still get Unstoppable the song out there because we did it from the DBC thing live. Yeah, man. And the song Unstoppable, it's still a post up to today, dear man. To still today. a post it. Yeah. You see me? So, but the album itself. Yeah, the album itself never gets to be heard. Mm. You get to me, I said. Because that was a great body of work, too. Yeah. But you see, this one here. You see, this one here. Yeah. This one here. In this world of niggerdom, <laughs> I bought this album, Jack. Yeah, man. Trust me. Alright. So, so, in terms of making. The making of Sima. The making of Sima was. You know, say you said it belongs. Yeah, it years was in the difficult. Making. It was difficult because when when we started making the album, I lost my mom. You see it, and then you know, me have to deal with everything because my sister, my big sister, were which are the next, you know, burden bearer of the family. Mm -hmm. She she they are fine. You see it, so me have to deal with everything, and then my next sister they might tell me a bag of things say. Mother want to bury a duff cat and all of these things and me, me can't bury my mother. So I have to take her out of my house and put her in our house. Yeah. So I actually build a house and put my mother in where I can go visit. And you see it. And prep on her a little bit. Yeah. So 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 part of the family did want her buried. Yeah, then we want her buried. And then and then you you Me, my me and my mother too, you know, and I yeah. see them mother alone. <laughs> You see? But you make the decision yeah. ultimately. Yeah, so I have to take on that burden. You see me? So all that burden now, family related thing and then my, my, my relationship with me now goes south at the same time. Yeah. So you see it? Everything starts mixed up in our one. Yeah, man. So I decide to say, alright, too much distress and too much, you know, dissonance. Yeah. See? Because nobody now deal with like, 
the dissonance, that word, excuse me, I said the wrong word, too much dissonance within the family mm. and the, the unification of the family wasn't there. You yeah. see me? So I have to bring myself together to bring the family together. I feel like you're on your own. You get to me as on the world of the by yourself. You see me? So the, the album now, it put me in a different mood because I, I went to England, to, to, we, we did Europe, and I went to England to do one show, and I was there for like four months. Dread. <laughs> just, just making music. Dread. Oh, the music over there? Yeah, man, because the music of England different. Yeah. You have all different type of music in England. You know? Trust me, you have garage, you have blue card, you have raga, you have all different type all of music. Type. You see? So, when you reach us, you know, then the African artists them start coming because they find out some of are England. Yeah, man. And thing, and I link up. Yeah, man, Stone Boy come link up. And then everybody just come link up. And what really gives me the, the, the drive is when we meet Ibis. I must say, you're one of the greatest artists me know. Is right. And then me act like me are not one of the greatest artists where him know. <laughs> you get to me? Yeah, say, you can't do that. Man. No, <laughs> so that way you know me start put myself together and decide say alright, studio. Definitely. So the, the, the awesome rent me there in England, you know. But we put a studio inside of it. And we just start work. Because all we need is a laptop, uh, a mic box. Yeah, and a know, mic. We know nowadays studio mobile too. Yeah, you know. Anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> studio set up round you. Yeah, we are moving, Jay. That is it. Boy. So when we start make music now, we start make gigs and some other artists, you know? Yeah. And then we start deal with the music the right way. But first we make the music first. Because if you go up on stage and now play the music, people now go realize the song where you sing. That is you it. see me? So we make the music first, then we build the lyrics. Build the lyrics your own as yes. yeah. But we we'll start doing some different lyrics and start talking some different things and start moving to some other way. Yeah. See it? Yeah. And through the, the help of my brother really and my girlfriend and my chef and my next brother and the man where I cook the food. Yeah. See it? The album just becomes great, Jed. And trust me, Reggie, we do some great work. So what we do now, we put back some of the old songs that we would make before yeah. from the album and just remake a new album. Yeah, man. So it's kind of, you yeah, remind them of some of the great works, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you have to put mix in some of the new yeah, flavor. Because, yeah, because you see, new flavor is what needed because the music changed. Yeah, you have to yeah. keep up with the, the music. All right. You see, the greatest thing for an artist is adapt yeah. and adjust. You see, once you adapt, you adjust. Yeah. Because you cannot adapt and don't make the adaption yours. That is it. So the people have a sign. <laughs> you get to me, sir? So we, we, we adapt the new style and, and, and put it in a my style. Yeah. Like, oh, me that do it and oh, me that sing it and all of these things. So yeah. that makes the music even better. So that makes the album better. Where Sima is concerned now. Yeah. Why don't you just talk about some of the producers they work with on Sima, some of the artists them. Okay. And basically, next step. All right. Sima is really surprising. Car, when I call Shaggy, I'm there on tour. Yeah. Zin, I'm my answer. Moses, as my reach. So when I reach, Tony Kelly call me. I say, all right, we're there. Really? Reach up on the shoulder. Me actually write the song. Zin, and Shaggy DJ my lyrics. I'm frightened. Just lying on still. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Shaggy actually DJ lyrics. I'm frightened. Shaggy's a man who sells 40 million capillaries. No, no, See him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See him? I'm feeling my life that DJ year lyrics. Yeah. When people just go, hmm, mm, 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 say anything and right. the song work. Yeah. You see me? In DJ year lyrics. Sean Paul wasn't there when he did the song, but when we did the song with Red Rose, I'm saying it because it was um, Remnium, Michigan Sun. Okay. Zin him produced a song there. Can him work with Champa? Yeah. Zin. We send the song again Maya. Maya just D with it. Right Shensia, right. she just D with it right away. Zin. Yeah. We sang them in England. We then I shoot them with the actual eye. Gigs them so. no vice sang in a one day. <laughs> like no. Gigs have to listen to the rhythm for three days and then vice the song after we feel the rhythm. Right. But to me deal with the rhythm when we go in our studio. 
The man feel left out. The man I said, no, sir. So the man must say, gig, mate, you got you got wait in the wait, wait and then listen to the beat. The man I said, we cannot make the general come here. Yeah. I mean I feel like a general in my own place. So the man just get to the point one time. One go. One go. You see it? Alright. What celebrity? I send lyrics again. She send back my lyrics. Mm. And do I won't think I she said I want to sing a song with you a long time, but you see the the dance I'll beat when I sing the gear, it just move out you. To, you see me? Yeah. But the whole, the whole entire album is just be a vibes, be a niceness, no bad vibes, I don't have to wait for nobody. Alright, I do not suppose to step on the album. I sang a song again for about two years. <laughs> <laughs> I know I sang the vibes. But I know the next album I'm going to step on it. Yeah. Zane? I am there with you, Phil. Yeah, 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 I understand what I said. Alright. But to kill you. Do a verse on the song with me and Sean Paul. Yeah. But the album will be released already. Yeah, but we can put out that as a remix. Well, definitely. definitely. When the video do, we can video that version. Definitely. Of the song. Definitely. You get to me and say, and this is how you do music. You, you do music in a way where the format have to, where, where you do now? Format have to work with where you are work with. Right. So you, you, you do music on one, music on one scale. So music start from here, then it go 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 here. This is how they make pop music. We never understand what pop music is in it. But it's layers of layers of layers of layers of layers. The man them actually make the music first before them write the song. And them write the song and them send for the artist. The artist don't even know where them are going to sing set. Yeah. And that me I tell you, and the man who write the song cannot reference the song in it. Yeah. All I have to do is play the melody of the song upon the, upon the rhythm and then they have to sing the song. They and say all of them get them song through that way. Okay. Until them decide say, okay, I'm going to learn for right now. Yeah, let's do them thing. Alright, this is my neighbor, so right? I'm going DJ, Dave Kelly teach me for right. What we do? Slam. Yeah. Then right after that, we go do old dog. Then right, right after that, we go nice shoot. I send the muggle, them come, send the champion, them come. Make them know, say, till I'm on. And they so you learn from experience. Right. You don't learn from the people that tell you, say, are you going here and tell yourself, say, you can't do this or do that. Right, right. You learn from experience. You it's learn amazing. from natural experience. Yeah. So this is how Sima come about from my experience. Many moves of Moses. You remember that album? Yes, sir. My first Grammy nominated album. Yeah. See? Me never expect a Grammy fan it, but it nominated. <laughs> me never expect, remember I tell you on the show. World, they, they expect it, boy. Yeah, but me never expect it because you can't in a category with Burning Spear and expect for win. Bob Marley, Burning Spear, Peter Touch. Oh, you're going, just stop it. <laughs> you can't expect that. But when them put me in a competition with Lucian and say, never win. I do. So, <laughs> so well, I feel so hard with it. Yeah, so feel so they call me a Lucian of them at the same time. In that same era. Get this. <laughs> so yeah. you say you feel like them that are a batchmate them there. Yes! I <laughs> know I'm after with you. But want well, of them before your time. Yeah, one of them before. Elders. And them are nominated 20 times. <laughs> so Grammy know them name. Yes, sir. See? Alright, look what the name again. Um. The, the one who sing the song with Shabba, the, the, the R&B artist. Johnny Gill. Johnny, oh. Johnny Gill nominated for over 40 Grammy. Yeah. Never win one. He must have the record, record for the most nominated. Most nominated, uh, but no win. That thing. <laughs> well, at least his name I got on a history book the same way, you know. But he still sell millions. <laughs> yeah. Because... Once you nominate, just a nomination alone. The, there you go. And yeah, then he's yeah. a billboard artist and you get billboard number one song. Yeah. You get to me, I say. So it's not about winning the Grammy, it's about nominated. So people can know your name and know who you are. Definitely. People live by Grammy Awards. People live by Billboard. People live by the British National Chart. People live by that. All them know them artists. All them love the artists. Yeah. Alright. Yaga America. Um, yeah, they are LA and listen to RFM. Good, done the argument. You got there in New York and turn on RFM. 
when you have at 97 all right good you go watch tvj when you have bt or mtv all right you see it can I rest your case you remember tell me when you get start to send in again today okay yes, i get my recognition from the chart i penetrate yeah and people give me love for all the style that i create and even to this date the faster them the rate all right good but that's where i said <laughs> you don't know if I believe that line there though. Even to this oh, day. Oh, yeah. oh, we are talking. They didn't see a man come on TV, man. <laughs> and then I asked him, say, so what do you think about Bunty Kill and Beanie, man? Oh, them boys like to teach me nothing, man. Ray, 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 him sing one song. <laughs> Girl, I make love in the car walk and in the Mark II, and where Mark X and. <laughs> I don't see him back again. This is how people think. Because yeah. they don't know you. We know about the killer and being man, where you come this is man, who you man? Go ahead and go one I side. Have, I have to know history, man. I have to know this and feel my set it. You understand? You have to know these things. Yes, Even I know these things in a rich no end life. That's where you definitely never study. Yeah, if you don't respect your elder, you don't respect your mother. Don't they argue? <laughs> yes, sir. Do you, 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 you don't respect your mother? Me remember when me a little boy. Me used to bust your head when you have my mother in an argument and it reached Lily. Yeah. The Miss Gone. When the Miss Lily gone in there, they are that man. They are this Problem. my mother, man. Yeah. Kang. <laughs> See, you come and say, Miss Lily. Wait, wait, wait. As long as you argue, and I say, Miss Lily. Yeah, yeah right. You have my mother in an argument. Good. You are not in a fight. <laughs> when God, hey, girl, Lily. You are here, that man. Kang. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. So you have to respect your elders. Yeah. You have to know where you come from. If you don't respect Jimmy Cliff, who are you? You don't respect Ijam and Levi, who are you? Yeah. You don't respect Bob Marley and the Wheelers, who are you? Yes, sir. A base in a respect family man, who are you? I Just tell me now. Respect, who are you which base can disrespect family man? Them man, they be still a mash up the world up yeah, to today date. If you go up on stage and say one look out for bass, you sing pan. That's, you have no budget. You have to have deal with music with the overstanding. Not even understand because you stand with Jap Dung Pan. Yeah, so you jump in the head. Yeah. Yeah. You over your stand. <laughs> you have to over the stand. Yeah. That may I tell you. Yes, yeah, sir. For that reason, and yes, yeah, sir, um, in terms of the album, the title. This is how the album comes out. All right. See, man. Okay, yeah, Everybody sir, attacks it. Be the man and them man, the who them man, they come out of the music now and resign. Tap on the nice man, the king is still here. Shut up. <laughs> so you just shut them up with music, Jet. Yeah. You're not going to thump a man in your mouth, and you're not going to fling a back in your mouth. The you just use a brick and close it. The work show for yourself, man. <laughs> Wheeling back your fan them. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck them in. <laughs> That's it, Jet. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jet. So, so Sima is the album where I and I forward I make them know say I am still here still there me not go now yeah yeah I may have some youth that they run me where them now move me there see it and them I get firmer in the music and get stronger in the music yes sir see it so anytime you hear me say wolf you have to know yeah yes sir I will hear that I will hear that yeah see good so looking forward in the business, in the yeah. music, um, because a whole heap of things they achieve over the years, yeah. over the decades. Yeah, over decades. Is, yeah, man. So is there anything where you don't want to say? Yeah, go on. Where is it? Where, where, you know, where, you know, where you know feel like you achieve it? Or, I mean, no, I achieve, achieve everything. Everything in our music, me yeah, achieve. achieve it. Grammy Awards, Mobile Awards, Afro Awards. You can't me, understand. There ain't nobody that tried this. Everything in our music. So, so right now, we just can't do it again. Well, well. Do it again. That, that is it. If you get a next number one, it's a next number one, you do it again. If you get a next Grammy Awards, the next Grammy again. Award, you do it again. <laughs> so all you have to do is do it again. Do it again, rebuild it. Yes, sir. So you rebuild yourself every time when you do something over and over. Yeah. And this is what it is. You used to work at Gleena. Yeah. See? Yeah. But you can call along there anytime and say, do this and do that. But you have your own platform. Yes, sir. So you just do it again. I still need that. 
play me there. All right, good. Blessings. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah, go like your porn star. I <laughs> <laughs> still need a record, Jet. Definitely, definitely. That's how you go, Jet. All right, so, people. A we that I chat with Moses, all yeah. the reason with Moses. I talk about the new album, Simmer. Yeah. And Moses, just tell him, go get, go get the album, go find it. My anywhere lad, there. it there anywhere, everywhere. It not there anywhere, now, it there anywhere. everywhere. <laughs> find it. Stream it. Listen to it. Yeah. And tell me how you feel. Blessings. Uh, if we get our next Grammy, we'll do it again. That's the fire. Do it again. <laughs> you know? Let's let for one piece of one I when I saw me with them one. Sang them a drive them, drive them crazy. When you come to it's not if not maybe. Firm on the street, them boy they shaky. No look a fool, can't test. The style when they now we create it. Rich life from here from we make it. One king alone control the pavement. No look a fool, can't test. I'm me just a sima, me just a sima. As a winner, as a king in the world where we live in a hey, me just a sima, me just a sima. As a winner, as a king in the world where we live in a Tina Evans, Billy Man, Zaga, boom. Well, peeps, there you have it. Another exciting and interesting episode of Next Friday. Now be sure to go and subscribe, share, like. Click the notification bell. Do the thing. Because you don't want to miss some beat. And remember, next Friday or every Friday. We out. <laughs>